So now we've got time to develop. Inside here I have got two uh, film reels with black and white film on it. The important thing is that this remains sealed. Not too tight, but sealed that it's not loose. And this is what we'll use the lid when we've got chemistry inside of it. Uh, remember it's up to you. For health and safety you're going to wear gloves. Uh, aprons definitely recommend because the fixer will kind of, like bleach, will kind of um, fade some of your clothes if it splashes on it. And over the sink there's, if there's any splashes in the eye, there's eye wash there. If you do get something like that in your eye, make sure you wash it out um, with clean hands and then go to reception to seek further uh, first aid assistance. So, um, but remember, the chemicals shouldn't be drank either. Um, they're only mildly irritable on, for some people. The developer is different than what we use in the trays. It's a film developer. And the ratio of dilution for this is 1 to 9. So that means for every one part of this, it's 9 parts of water. But preferably water at room temperature. There is very specific temperatures for you know, if you're regularly using it to maintain a, a kind of standard. So, for these, it's 375 mils of chemistry, multiplied that by 2, so 750. And that means you're going to need 75 mils of developer, plus 600, I wrote it down to double check, 675 um, of water. It hopefully for you if you're going to be using it will be pre-made in a tank like this and it will say film developer made okay so um, it's already pre-made but measure out 750 mils for two rolls of film and you will need to time this all right it's very important that you time it uh, for the development it's going to be four minutes for developing and we might as well start that now and we can talk about the rest. So you can use your funnel if you want, if, you, if it makes it easier for you to pour it in. And once the chemistry goes in, you need to start the timing. So chemistry is in. I'm going to clock uh, just standing over there. You might use your phone. That's fine, but make sure you don't get your phone damaged. And agitation over the sink. So you, to agitate, you turn upside down a couple of times. And this makes the chemistry be alive. It makes it wake up and it starts a process. And it needs to start breaking down the unreacted uh, chem uh, crystals in your film. So rotate it. Then the important thing to do is, once you put it down, to give it on the sink, just two taps. Why do we do that? is if there's any air bubbles from our agitation, if they stick onto the film, nothing can happen underneath the air bubble. So you're going to end up with some of your picture not being developed. So we've got that in there. Every minute we'll agitate it a couple of times and then give it a double tap. To stop, so we've got 750 mil, just get some of the fixer, all right? Just, a, I don't know, a couple of, a couple of mil, 50 millimeter, milliliters and then put the rest in as water. Um, so you got 750, that will go in next, and then the fixer, the fixer is 1 to 4 ratio. So for every, hundred, let's say, for this, we're going to have 150 mil of fixer, and then 4 times 150 is 600, yeah, um, and then 600 mils in there, and that will give us up to 750, which will do 2 rolls of film. Just divide the measurements by two. But the fixer we've already pre-made, double check that it says made. All right. If it doesn't say that it's made, don't put it on top of your rolls of film. Double check. So we've gone past another minute. Agitation. Always do it over the sink. Because if you don't do it over the sink, it can drip all over the floor. It just creates a mess. So, once you've gone through that process for four minutes, you will pour that away down the sink. Then you will put in your uh, fixer solution, or sorry, stop solution. The stop solution only needs to be in there for about a minute, and that's constant agitation. 
nice and gentle, but it just gets rid of all the developer and stops any further chemical reaction. And then the fixer, the fixer will go in and that will be for a total of three to four minutes. So you need to make sure that you have agitated the fixer as well and given it a tap so it doesn't stick on there. When you've got to the stage where you've poured away the fixer, you need to keep it closed and just put it underneath running water, right? gentle trickle of water running water for a few minutes. So we'll just let that fill up for a second. So that will be under the fix for a few minutes, under the running water for a few minutes. Once it's been in the fix, you can open it. So once it's had its full three to four minutes in the fix, you can open it absolutely fine. Um, and you'll be able to see if, when you open it, there's a milky residue from the fix, while well, it's still got the fixer in it. If there's a milky residue around the edge of the film, then it needs to be fixed a little bit longer. The last, or not the last thing, but what you need to do now is sort of water will wipe off the film really easy. You need to pop in a thing called rinse aid, and it's just a couple of drops go inside. And this will then, kind of like a washer, you just plunge up and down. There's no film on these ones. You plunge up and down, and then tap the reels off. When you've got your roll of film, let's say it's wet, so I'll just get a demo of one. So, let's say you've taken your roll of film off the reel and it's still wet, just a demonstration. The best thing to do is just with your two fingers over the sink, just once rub off the excess water. So just rub it off the excess water and then you're going to put clips on and you're going to put it into the dryer. Make sure you put a clip on the top, make sure you put a clip on the bottom. Not like this, but when you've done yours, you'll see a roll of film that is actually got negatives on it. So like when you did a pinhole, it inverted light, created a negative. These will be negatives that you'll be able to see. Um, the clips are available on the dryer. So I'll bring it down. So the drying rack you'll have clips up there. Put one of each of these on either end and then inside you'll put it hanging up. If somebody else is are in there make sure that you don't put extra ones in there. And then the timer is down all the way down at the bottom. Do not leave the timer on for an excessive amount of uh, time. So mo no more than let's say 15 minutes in the dryer and then it's ready to be chopped up and to make contact sheets. Alright, well done.